Hello everyone, Crystal Lynn here. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to love, tuning into love with me. I am so grateful you are here. I am truly feel so honored and blessed to be able to share another message with you guys, another pick a card reading. Um, this message is coming from your higher self and from the universe to offer support and guidance um, encouragement, extra strength, extra knowing, all of whatever it is that you're wanting affirmed. Um, I'm, I'm truly feeling that this message may um, be that guidance, that answer, that affirmation that you're, that you're seeking. So this pick a card is for those of you that are maybe feeling like you're in a dark place. Um, you've reached a place where maybe you feel like you're at rock bottom or you just nothing you are doing is working. It's like every door you go to open is closed or locked. Um, and you're just like, okay, I know that I want to move forward towards what is authentic for me, what feels good. I'm no longer going to entertain all this dark, toxic, unhealthy energy that is creating a lot of stress and anxiety and depression and just a lot of heavy, dense energy that I am, I am uh, not interested in experiencing anymore. I'm, I'm learning what I need to learn and I'm moving forward. So if you're watching this video, you are, you have chosen to align with your authentic path. You have chosen freedom and happiness and sovereignty and to be empowered and self-governing. So when we make that choice, the universe responds in very magical ways, synchronicities, coincidences. Um, it answers our questions and our prayers um, in the most magical ways, this being one of them. So if this speaks to you, if this resonates for you, tune in this there's a message here for you <laughs> groups one two three and four and just take a moment really and tune in and um, take a deep breath if you need to just to center and whatever your intuition sp speaks first the very first thing is usually what it is so don't doubt it um, go with your intuition what is calling you and I want to give a beautiful amazing shout out to Melanie Williams I'm going to put her YouTube channel link in the description below um, she I am I just feel so blessed and honored not only to be connected with all of you amazing subscribers welcome all of my new subscribers and thank you so much to all of my loyal amazing subscribers who have been with me this last year I am I am just feeling so blessed and my faith has just been strengthened so much in the last year. Um, and Melanie Williams, she gave me a shout out on her channel and had the most amazing kind things to say and it brought me into full crybaby mode. <laughs> so thank you, Melanie. I am, I'm just grateful to be connecting with authentic divine reflections that just inspire me and fill my heart with so much gratitude that it's like once you taste that sweetness of the universe there's no going back so this is actually a very beautiful place to be and the choice to move towards alignment to know there's a better way to face the darkness to see it for what it is and to recognize that you're the creator of your reality you're the co-creator with with spirit you are spirit infinite soul and anything's possible. It's all about truly learning how our, our biological, sophisticated biological technology works, our bodies, <laughs> and tapping into the truth of who we are and what we're capable of. So the dark shows us how bright we truly are. Um, we wouldn't know how bright we actually shine if there was no darkness. So just remember you are the light and let's get into this message. You guys, I'm going to stop rambling. <laughs> I love you all so much. Thank you so much for subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing, um, 
connecting with me on my social media, on my Patreon. I love my Patreons. This is just such a beautiful blessing for me and hopefully inspires you guys to follow your intuition and know that it's so much bigger than us. And when you follow your intuition and you line up with what feels good with you, the universe is, that's what the universe wants. And it comes in and supports and guides you. And if I, you know, listening to my intuition has got me to this place right here, connecting with you guys in this very magical way, which I never would have dreamed that I would be doing this, <laughs> but it's because of what I've gone through and been able to overcome that I can share these messages. And these messages to me are so priceless because they come from the divine and they, you can feel the truth for yourself. So, all right, no more rambling. I'm, I'm going to get into this message. I love you guys. Let's see what your higher selves have to say. <laughs> Start with group number one. Okay, so group number one, let's see what's going on with you guys. What we've got balance, career, and home life, partnership. Sorry about the background noise. Loyal heart, laughter though, it's a good thing. What do you desire? Darkest Fears, which is also the Nine of Swords in the Tarot. Defend to the End, the Worthwhile, number 23. You've got Ceremony, Invocation. You've got the Queen of Wands with the Ace of Pentacles, and uh, clarified by the Ace of Pentacles. So I kind of did this, the Rider Weight Tarot as the current energy that's happening and the everyday tarot as the kind of the future, what you're aligning to. So there is a very beautiful, solid um, opportunity seed that you, whatever it is you're manifesting right now, keep doing what you're doing. This, this power within you that is turned on this, this, ability to really connect into your intuition and to your visions and you are like going to manifest what you came here to manifest there is no doubt and it's beginning here is a beautiful affirmation from the universe that what it is that you have been manifesting what you've been visualizing what you've been intuitively feeling is coming towards you is actually coming towards you and this is something that's going to be very solid it's going to give you this feeling of just peace it's this true energy of security of of solid grounded life in the physical so this can be for your career okay so if you're if you've started a new career or you have this idea or this vision to begin something on your own um, or you have a new career path, this is a yes. Whatever it is that you're, if you haven't started it, maybe with the Nine of Swords, um, this is your affirmation to go forward, to, to really begin taking action towards your dreams, towards what it is that you're creating. Um, with Sarah, the ceremony card here, this is speaking to really becoming very intentional in what you're manifesting. The Queen of Wands is very magical. She is someone who divines with nature, has you know an altar and ceremonies and connects to the spiritual realms and speaks her intentions into existence. She speaks energetically her imprint into existence and she is you know when we're doing when we're intentionally connecting to the universe with objects um, that are significant that you know it's all about our thoughts and our energy and our vibration so this is like telling the universe that you're very like you mean business right the queen of wands means business this will really support you and help you um really get in tune with your higher self, your guides and the universe, um, in such clear ways. It's, 
And if you can do something like this every day, even if it's just for five or 10 minutes, um, even that, even that little bit, because spirit is so big and powerful and it's very subtle. It's all, of, the more we do something, the more that energetic imprint strengthens, okay? And everything working with spirit, working with unconditional love, everything is very subtle. It's very gentle. It's very patient. It's very loyal. It's very trusting. So it helps us remember that and to get into that energy of moving with the universe, of co-creating with that universe, working with the energies. Everything moves at its own pace, right? So the more in tune you are with how you connect to the universe, you'll begin to see how other things are connected to the universe and how they work with the universe, which is really important when you're manifesting something solid in the physical world because you are a very powerful co-creator and you came here to do that. You came here to anchor unconditional love and be a co-creator. You could be um, with the partnership card here and loyal heart. You've, it's like you have faced your fears. You have chosen love and you know that love is truly the only thing worth going the distance for. You know, it's the only long, like it's the only truth. Love is the only thing that's real. And so let me pull this card out a little bit because I just want to see what it says. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, yeah, it's really all about creating a foundation based on the truth. And no matter what, like whatever you have to do to do that, <coughs> that's what you're doing. Because otherwise, if there's no love, if you're working so hard for something and sure you build this beautiful foundation, this beautiful business, whatever it is, if there's no love in it, if there's no joy in it, what's the point? You know, what is the point? Because it's not bringing, if you're not feeling joy, then that energy is, is not existing within, you know, so it's like you are someone who can see beyond the lies and deception. You know, this card represents a sacred warrior, a defender of the heart. Okay. Loyal heart. You have a very loyal heart and you're learning what it truly means to be loyal to yourself, to your path, um, what true loyalty means in a partnership, working together to balance your career and home life, someone who works, you know, a partner. So becoming these things for yourself, becoming loyal yourself, becoming your own wonderful co-creative partner, um, your own create your connection to your higher self, um, because the very most important connection we have is to our higher self, to the universe, first and foremost. Um, and it's really understanding that love is the only thing that matters. And you're seeing that. And with the Nine of Swords here, whatever... Um, attachments, whatever fears, whatever negative thinking, beliefs, things that are in the subconscious that have, um, you know, that we have picked up over our childhood or through other relationships, whatever it is that you've gone through, it has allowed you to truly connect to this very deep energy of unconditional love. And you understand how sacred it is. You understand the value of it. You understand that it is like the biggest deal, right? It is the biggest deal. And, you know, the fear-based consciousness covers up love and makes love seem like, oh, it's just, you know, whatever. And it doesn't honor love. It betrays love, right? So it's like, I feel like you have this very warrior spirit, especially with the queen of wands. It's like, 
you go after what you want and you don't put up with anyone's stuff and she's also a shadow queen she's not afraid to go into the shadows because the shadows are are have, hold very magical wonderful things as well she's faced her fears she's faced her darkest fears um and realized that they're not real she found by facing her darkest fears by realizing what was real and true that she found the truth within herself and she can manifest anything she is the queen of manifesting so it's about being faithful to love um, it's like we have to let go of fear completely in order to truly manifest and we can because we are connected to spirit and we can never lose anything that's truly meant to be ours you know so focusing on what you desire really tuning into your heart your emotions the emotions that you want to experience the 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 energy that you want to play in that you want to create and that you want to bring your life force into um And really, what I'm getting from this as well is be very um, vigilant. The Queen of Wands with ceremony um, got a little inchworm right there. <laughs> um, it's good. It's okay to take love seriously in a sense that you recognize it as the only truth, um, because that will allow you to stay focused on the love and kind of rise above the, the darker energies and be able to work with them in a way that, um, you know, it just transmutes the energy. Because truly, like when, when we think about an emotion, sadness and joy, they're really one in the same because joy is what we are and sadness is the restriction of that joy. Sadness is, um, you know, the lack of that joy. So it's about learning how to refocus yourself. And by pr creating a practice where you're intentionally connecting to what it is that you want, to your visions, to calling in your visions, to speaking them aloud as if they're already manifested, being grateful, tuning into unconditional love and feeling the gratitude, feeling your joy. Um, whatever you need to let go of um, to come into balance with your career and home life, whether you need to get organized, um, create some daily structure for yourself, create some boundaries, um, delegate, ask for help, see what you can let go or what you need to just whatever you need to do to find some balance because you're you're really coming into if you with the partnership card here too this speaks of both of these cards that you're you're aligning to meet someone or come into partnership and I feel like it has to do with this new beginning this new opportunity with the ace of pentacles here so The more you tune into your joy, the more balance, the more intentional you are, the warrior within you is going to soften. The warrior within you is going to, <laughs> you're going to feel, feel your joy and things that you once, things that you once um, found hard to deal with will become humorous to you. You'll feel a lightness, right? You'll feel this relaxed sense of everything's okay because you're working with spirit. You know spirit's working out all of the things and it's like you're not going to allow fear to ever take over you again you are you are on the path of love and there is nothing that's going to stop you from manifesting everything that you came here to manifest there's nothing that's going to stop you from living your absolute beautiful authentic life 
I really feel that from this. So, stay true to the path of love, stay loyal to your heart, to what you know to be true. Tune into your desires, into your emotions. Know that our darkest fears always come up right before we have this beautiful breakthrough into the next level of our consciousness. You know, we see what we needed to see. We heal what we needed to heal. We learn something very valuable so that as we're moving forward, we don't keep contributing to the energy that created this in the first place. We're actually setting a new example and only the strongest warriors do it because it's so much easier to fall into the back into the fear and just go back. I mean, it's not easy, actually. <laughs> not for you. Not for you and me. It's not easy, right? Because we're these sacred warriors. We will defend to the end the worthwhile. And that's why you're watching this. It's like, this is your time of truly stepping into your power and awakening. And everyone will have their time when they're meant to. But it's like, trust yourself, trust your path. I really feel like new people are coming into your life and I feel like you have this beautiful new financial opportunity, business, something, whatever it is that you're doing, it's going to be beautiful. But remember, this is a seed and it's here twice. So this is really strong. Really nurture this seed. Give it your undivided attention. This seed is worth nurturing, loving, giving your focus and energy to because it's going to grow and be something that will not only benefit you, but it's going to benefit everything around you, okay? Everyone you come into contact with. So remember that. It's, it's, a, it's so much bigger than you. The universe is like, yes, yes, please do this. So <laughs> it was given to you for a reason, and you're here to bring it in to the physical, but you're, you're so guided in this and I'm really excited for you. Thank you for being such an amazing, strong warrior because I am just, I am just so grateful to see us really waking up to our warrior spirits, our warrior hearts, and we're not alone in this and it's just exciting. <laughs> so have faith, trust yourself and keep moving forward. Know you have that amazing strength and heart for a very good reason and the world is grateful for it. <laughs> I am very grateful for it. Grateful for you. So that is your message today, you guys. Thank you so much as always for tuning in with me. Thank you for subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing. Please connect with me over on my um, Instagram and my Facebook if you'd like to, my Patreon page. I'm doing daily audio messages. Um, it's just a dollar a month, and it's a beautiful way for me to tune in to those I'm meant to, and um, it also supports me as a creator and being able to create more um, balance in my home and career life <laughs> as well. So I'm just loving it, and I'm, I just feel so honored and blessed. Um, to share these messages with you guys. So I send you all my infinite love and I will see you guys next time. Peace out. Okay, group number two. Hi, group number two. Let's see what your higher self and the universe want you to know about moving forward. So we've got Nurture Yourself, Dragonfly Emergence, The Dog, Look at all the colors. I noticed the last reading kind of had similar colors. Co-create. It's a very solid, um, earthy energy. And then the Angels three flew out for you guys. Joy, perfect timing, and time to go. So yeah, I mean, why you're watching this, right? <clears throat> the perfection of your life, number 30. And then you got uh, release, the number 13 or death. And three came out as well. So this is kind of like your current energy and this is the future, kind of the, where the energy is aligning to. Um, so yeah, I can see what's, you, you, 
you're, you may be feeling a bit left out in the cold right now, a bit on the outside. Nothing's really uh, interesting you at the moment. Like there hasn't been this like, um, sorry about that you guys. Background noise on the river, the jet skiers. That time of year again. <laughs> Maybe you need to go out and do some uh, playing on the river or boating or something. <laughs> go ride a jet ski or I don't know, something really fun where you can just like let loose and go do something amazing. Just to not, you know, just to go feel your spirit. Um, you have some desires within you and spirit wants you to know that they are a done deal. Like what you are, your wishes, your desires that you're really feeling that you want to move towards, it's a done deal. You're feeling those things for a reason. That's why you're feeling kind of left out in the cold. That's why nothing else is really grabbing your attention or resonating with you. Um, so that's a really great feeling. This is a period of time where you have got to really just trust, have faith. And I know that's like a really hard thing to hear when you're, you know, all you want to do is just move forward and nothing's really, you know, feeling that stimulating. So with the four of cups in reverse, uh, what you're aligning to, you're coming out of this energy. Okay. You're coming out of it. You're something is pulling you forward and you're feeling yourself being moved towards it. Okay. So have faith, keep trusting what you're feeling and know that you're feeling that for a reason and it is manifesting. It is already manifested and that's why you're feeling it. You are now being pulled by that feeling to align with it. Okay. So a part of feeling like nothing fits, nothing feels right. That is a very positive sign. That is a very good sign that your soul, that the universe, everyone is working behind the scenes to now get you to where your alignment is with this desire. Okay. It's really important right now that as you're moving towards, and we've got release here, which is death. So this is a letting go of the old, like you've been through a lot. You're letting go of a past that was what you knew. It was what you knew. It's what you were accustomed to. And there was a time, you know, in the past where everything felt like it was supposed to feel. And then, you know, things began to not feel right, not be in alignment. Right. And that's, that's our, our soul growing. That's our, our spirit maturing here and lining up with what we came here to do. So it can be painful to go through the transformations. It can be very challenging to tune into what it is that we actually desire, but with releasing, with accepting things for what they are, for seeing things for what they are, for choosing to learn from everything that's happened, we allow the old parts of ourselves to die and we are reborn. Our ego self, you know, the, the fear-based programming dies and our authentic self is reborn. All bright, all shiny, but it's like this feeling of newness and vulnerability and not fitting in anymore because you're, you're waking up to the truth. Um, there was a message I did last night for my Patreon and part of it was in the Oracle spoke to how we are, you know, it's not anything to fear that we are actually becoming sane in a very sane world. It's like waking up, you know, it's like being sick and then feeling healthy. You know, the difference between those two when you're sick and you feel like you want to die versus when you're all healed and healthy and you're like, oh, I'm back to myself. I feel great. It's, it's the same sort of thing when we are awakening spiritually, when we're going through that transformation. So just remember that because I see the perfection of your life. This is all, this is all about like really going through a storm, things just feeling chaotic all over the place. And it's reminding us that it's all happening for a reason. And it's like when we look at a storm from a higher perspective, say from outer space, it may just look 
beautiful and amazing and chanting and you're just like, wow, nature is so powerful. And look at this magnificent power of nature. But if you're, you know, down on the ground in the middle of the storm, it's like a totally different reality. You're like thinking, oh my God. <laughs> you know? So it's about understanding that storms pass and as they do and as they move things around and it moves, you know, it shifts and it moves and it, it transforms everything. Like after the storm, everything settles, you know, new life emerges from that new beauty, new inspiration. So this is a time in your life where, you know, with the death, it's like, this was always something that was meant to happen for your own growth. And you're in this period of emergence. Um, and with nurture yourself and the dog, this is like telling me that be very gentle with yourself, be very kind to yourself, nurture yourself, have compassion for yourself, take time out to nurture your, your mind, body, spirit, um, take baths, go for walks, take naps, um, eat clean food, living food, raw food. Like think about like if you were going to a healing retreat center and you were, you know, going to go in the sauna and get a massage and, and you're going to drink pure water because it's a very nurturing to our bodies, our energy, everything, especially as we're coming out of something. If we can just purify ourselves let our minds relax and get out of the head and just just be with ourselves and allow ourselves to really fully strengthen again um that's when we feel this desire to truly move forward and you've got the co-create card here um so whatever it is that you've gone through this time period that you're in it's about really tuning into your experience, the past, and how you're, how you're moving forward authentically, co-creating, what that looks like, what that means for you. Um, you are a very loyal person, a very good friend, very sincere. You are unconditional love. You are, you're someone who nurtures others quite a bit. And right now it's time to give that nurturing to yourself and really think about yourself as a co-creator. Um, tune into your joy right now because joy is your vibration. It is the highest vibration. Um, and when we're in alignment, when we're in that energy, that's when things begin to really come through, manifest, um, divine guidance, synchronicities, affirmations, all of that. And those are coming from your higher self to point you in the right direction, to remind you that you're on your path. Um, and with time to go and perfect timing here, this is um, trusting your intuition and really acting on your intuition, um, following your inspirations, that the, this is perfect timing right now for you to really follow your intuition and what inspires you. Um, especially as you're tuning into your emotional fulfillment, to your heart space, um, just the unconditional love consciousness. Because this cycle is ending. It's over for you and it's time to move on to the next one. So see this as an opportunity to strengthen your connection to your inner guidance and really tune in to how you want to co-create because you are a co-creator. Let me see if it has anything else to say. Um, creativity, art, inspiration, fruition, and manifestation. <clears throat> so... You may not consider yourself a creative person, but in fact, you are creating your reality every moment of every day via your thoughts, feelings, beliefs, intentions, and actions. Yet you must consider that you do so in partnership with spirit, consciousness, God, or whatever name you call your higher power. You are a spark of this intelligence that works through you, nudging you with inspired thought and intuitive guidance. You are a paintbrush that co-creates a beautiful, unique expression of your own individuality blended with universal spirit. You are a product of divine inspiration and now you're aligned with it to create miracles. 
When you view your life as art and know you co-create it, only beauty and grace result. Prepare to be amazed, okay? So follow your heart. Allow your heart to inspire you in the direction that you want to move because that is the Five of Pentacles is is a card of change and it's coming out of the consciousness of feeling disconnected from spirit disconnected from our higher selves to choosing to realign with it to connect to tune in to plug into our higher selves and once we do that that's when we begin to see the opportunities the synchronicities and all of that so be very loyal to yourself and to love and this path and be aware that you are transforming and emerging into this beautiful expanded version of you here this authentic version of you so don't be afraid to go for it follow your inspirations your creativity and know that whatever storm it is will pass it's it's all part of being of of coming into awareness of this moment in time and why you're here to get to help you gain the clarity you need so that as you co-create moving forward you're co-creating something that is truly going to grow and expand and be beneficial for yourself and everyone so it's very important it's it's and also i'm feeling like um in the last one too <coughs> get out and have some fun um, <laughs> with the jet ski in the beginning of this reading, the dog is very playful, like a friend, an adventurer, always up for a car ride, whatever it is, you know, and joy with, she's riding on a dolphin. Like you've been through a lot, the storms, the transformations. It's like, you have to take time to rest. It's a very heavy energy that you've been working through. So as you come out and feel, start feeling lighter, and really tuning into your inspirations and co-creating, like go have some fun too. I feel like that's really gonna boost your spirit and it's just gonna bring you back into who you really are. You're gonna feel yourself and that that's only gonna benefit you. So go play a little bit and know how amazing you are and how strong you are. And I'm so grateful for you. I'm so grateful for you. Um, so that's your message. I truly hope it resonated and brought you the, the affirmation, the clarity, the guidance, the wisdom um, to moving forward and in more confidence and knowing and just trust yourself. You got this. Um, <laughs> so thank you for subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing. Thank you for um, following me on my social media. If you want to follow me on my Instagram or my Facebook or my Patreon page or receive a personal reading from me. Uh, my links are down below in the description. I would be absolutely honored. I love connecting with you guys. I'm so excited that the channel's growing and so many, you know, just thank you so much, you guys. I'm, I'm overwhelmed with gratitude to be here and I hope it inspires you to stay on your path and keep following your intuition because I'm here because I followed my intuition despite all the, <laughs> all of the others in my world telling me, you know, how, how much they did not agree. So get in tune with you and co-create and I support you and I love you. And I thank you so much for being the amazing, strong co-creator that you are and for walking this path of love with me. So I will see you soon next time. All my infinite love. Peace out you guys. All right, group number three. How are you, group number three? Let's see what your higher self and the universe want you to know about what, what you need to know moving forward here. So we've got Stay Focused, Kuthimi. Milky Way Perspective from Earth Magic. Come to the Edge, number 36. Ask from the Angels. We've got trust or the fool in the tarot, which is interesting. It's very similar to come to the edge. Oh, and this one had two ace of pentacles, strengthening bonds as well. Collaborative dreaming. 
wealth. And you see the shadow of the camera on there. Sorry, guys. And then we've got the King of Pentacles, Judgment, and the Fool again. My goodness. Okay. So you're being guided to take a leap of faith. <laughs> I can tell you that. Come to the edge, dear one, and trust and take this leap of faith into the unknown. You're being offered something, um, an opportunity. Sorry about the background noise, you guys. Hold on one second. <laughs> Those are the jet skiers in the river. They were going by the first time when I started the second message. So <laughs> there they are again. Spirit is telling everyone to go play and have some fun. So, all right. So you're being guided to come to the edge. There's, there's some sort of opportunity that is a very solid opportunity, something very beautiful that has the potential for, um, longevity. It's really something that is, will deepen and expand and become more solid, more, um, abundant over time and not just abundant, like financially or, um, but more so in a energetic sense. Um, whatever this opportunity is that you're being called forth to, it is fueled by unconditional love. And that is the energy that the universe is interested in anchoring. So you have this energy of like beautiful wealth around you. Now the King of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles is a wonderful man. And in tarot readings, sometimes he'll get a bad rap and it just depends on how the cards come out. But for you today, with the wealth and the Ace of Pentacles and the Judgment card here, I really feel like with the King of Pentacles, he's someone who is very down to earth. He's very grounded. He's very practical. He's very, um, he's about quality versus quantity. So he's not materialistic at all, but he really, he sees the value in the nice things in life the, you know, the luxury, the expensive things like to him, it's about the quality of what it is he's exchanging it for. It's not necessarily because it's expensive that he has to have it or whatever. It's more so that it's a good product. It, it, it's, it's, um, functional. It does what it's supposed to. It's reliable. It's, you know, it's quality versus quantity. And he's very kind. He's a very compassionate man. He's, he's a provider. He's a father. He likes to take care of his family. He likes to provide for his family. He likes his family to feel secure. His, you know, he likes having that position. So I feel like maybe there's some sort of, um, limiting belief from the past or attachment to um, money and maybe there's something going on with you letting go of false money beliefs that that is blocking you from manifesting about like true abundance and wealth because money is simply energy and it's not about money it's about the experiences that money can provide and it's about also seeing things from a higher perspective, from an energetic place. Um, everything comes from source. The King of Pentacles knows that everything comes from source. He has immense gratitude to the universe for guiding him, for helping him make sound business decisions and create solid businesses that help support his family, that help support other families. Um, that have integrity, that have good business practices, that work on, you have collaborative dreaming here. So spirit is telling me that there are others that, that are meant to collaborate with you on this vision, this, this new seed, whatever it is, there are others that are meant to join you on this vision. And spirit's telling you that 
this is all being orchestrated. So you're not alone in whatever it is you're doing. And you may be receiving dreams at night as well. Write them down, really become aware because even if you're not sure what the dream means, uh, maybe keep a little journal by your bed in the morning when you wake up, just jot down whatever you can remember if you do, even if it doesn't make sense because messages do come through that way. And when I get this card, I believe it says it, says something about receiving dreams. Let me see if there's anything I've got to make sure I say. <laughs> um, yeah, it talks about how you, whatever dream it is that you have right now in your heart, it's, it's bigger than you. It's for humanity. And you're being asked to honor whatever it is this this desire, this vision that you have inside of you, you're being asked to honor this desire so that you can co-create with other um, conscious, like-minded people. So because this vision within you is inspired from love, from your heart, you can let go of any sort of limiting beliefs around money that you have because it's not about making a ton of money and being rich and materialistic and all of that it's about being able to serve humanity in a big big way okay and it's a win-win for everybody because people who start businesses or you know if imagine if the all the the people like you know, if I, when I have a lot of money someday, when I'm a millionaire, because I've gone back and forth with this myself, but when I was a little kid, I used to say, I'm going to be a millionaire. I just knew it. Like I just had this big thing, but I didn't, I've never been materialistic. I just see money as a way to exchange for experiences and, um, all of that because I of the way that I was raised, which is not like most people, but I, I understand that like the light workers, the people who are centered in their heart, who have good intentions like me, I am going to do so many good things with that, with that money. I'm, I have, I have ideas that are guided by spirit. I am guided by my soul, by spirit. And so whatever I do is inspired from that. I don't do things just to do them. And so I really support people who are choosing unconditional love to let go of any sort of money blocks and change shift our perspective from lack to prosperity to abundance because the only truth is abundance we are abundance money is energy everything comes from source truly everything it's about our intention behind it and in an ideal world we wouldn't need money <laughs> you know if we were all coming from that place of unconditional love we wouldn't need money because we are far more intelligent there are far better ways of doing things but in the current reality that is manifested already it's about learning how to navigate in what's been manifested already and shift it into something new and it's really about embodying your true authentic self judgment here is like it's like rising up out of the out of being dead you know like done for transformation been through it all and now we're like rising up out of our death beds and we're like here I am I don't I don't I, I don't care who sees me the whole world can see me the universe can see me this is me this is who I'm gonna be and you know so be it <laughs> I, I mean it's like don't be afraid to be seen for who you are don't be afraid to just go for what your heart desires because when you're truly coming from a place of authenticity, the universe supports you and you're going to find others of like mind that you're magically brought into alignment with your perspective. It's all about it. Everything begins within everything begins within. So you've got to make that shift, that internal perspective first before you're going to see anything manifested in the outside physical world. So, Really ask your guides, your angels, your higher self for signs, synchronicities, messages. Pray to them. Ask them for help. Ask them for assistance. Ask them to show you signs and messages just like repetitively as big as that you can. 
and but you've also got to take the steps forward and when you receive those messages when you receive those signs those inner knowings act on them you know move in that direction because it, it's a two-way street you know and but the universe once you really get going and the universe knows you're you mean business you're you're going to be like the king of pentacles you know the true king of pentacles It, it already lives within you. That it is already who you are. So now it's about aligning to it. It's it's already it's calling you for a reason. You've got the fool twice here and come to the edge. Stay focused, okay? <laughs> um, stay focused on your path. Stay focused on this vision that you have and manifesting it and creating it. Start taking action, movement, leaps of faith. Um, know that, that abundance is the truth. And let me see if there's anything in the wealth card that you need to know. Number 34... It's a marker of abundance and success and the achievement of a goal. It can refer to real riches and tangible results such as money or possessions, but it can also pretend a time of emotional satisfaction. It's always a reminder that all things can be attained. Know that wealth includes sharing, for this card is also a reminder to give something away to help another, be it money, time, or anything of value. Sharing will always ensure the flow of wealth. This marker is a very fortunate omen. Okay, so absolutely like your the wealth that is coming your way right now that you are surrounded with it's it's also going to create wealth for so many others that you're collaborating with that you're impacting it's going to bring security and abundance to not just you but so many others lives so definitely take this leap of faith um this is a yes and Tune, truly tune into your internal why, you know, why, why do you feel drawn to come to the edge? What is this leap of faith? Where is it truly based? Is it based in your, your pure intention of unconditional love or is it based in fear? If it's love, go for it. You're good. If it's fear, it's not because I can tell by the cards, it's not. <laughs> So nurture the seed, go for it, stay focused and look out for these people. Collaborative dreaming. I didn't even finish that. Um, stay in your integrity, honor what you feel. Remember why you choose to open up to group endeavors in the first place. Um, call on unconditional love every day. And... <clears throat> It says that you are a part of a new creative learning program for humanity. This learning program is taking place at a spiritual level and it requires highly individualistic and creative people to learn to work with each other without compromising who they are in order to reach a common creative goal. It is wonderful, it is wonderful important and challenging creative and spiritual work. You need a strong sense of self to be able to engage in the process and not lose your voice during the journey. And the King of Pentacles, he's a very strong sense of self. Um, you need a strong enough sense of self to be flexible and know when to bend rather than break. You have to intuit what is going to be a good heart-inspired sacrifice for the greater good and when you will need to stay true to your own voice for the greater good. Only the heart can guide you on these matters and others may not always agree with your instincts and vice versa. And that's the King of Pentacles. This is part of the challenge of staying present so that the friction created can be channeled into creative energy rather than lost in emotional turmoil. Please remember that what really matters is that you hear your own voice. Others may or may not be able to receive it. When you hear your own voice, you will be able to connect with the, your heart truths. You will know when it is right to remain in a group or when you need to withdraw in order to work with others who resonate at a more appropriate vibration and perhaps more in harmony with your own. Not every collaboration will be long-term. Sometimes the learning will be short 
sharp, and possibly even painful before it turns into the wisdom that is gained from experience. <coughs> At other times, the journey will be more loving, supportive, and harmonious. This is neither better nor worse, just different. So, I feel like it's like you're no longer meant to go it alone if you have been, that you're coming together with others. Um, that's, you know, something that is really beneficial to humanity. So, I really love this card. Um, trust your heart, you know, trust what your heart is guiding you to do and go for it. Definitely being guided to go for it, okay? <laughs> Thank you so much. That is your message. I truly hope it resonated and brought you some guidance and wisdom and affirmation moving forward. And thank you so much, you guys, for subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing. Um, thank you for following me on social media and my Patreon page if you're interested. I'm doing uh, daily audio messages over there. It's just a dollar a month, and it's a beautiful way for me to share messages um, for those that are meant to receive them. And it supports me as well in being able to balance everything in my life and bring more, more content here with you guys. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I love you. And, um, all the links for me are down below in the description. If you'd like a personal reading. Um, but other than that, you guys, I love you. I thank you. And I will see you very, very soon. All my infinite love. Peace out. <laughs> All right, group number four. Let's see what's going on with you, group number four. What does your higher self want you to know at this time moving forward? Okay, so we've got artistic expression, wolf instinct, iceberg submerged, the eagle, which is spirit, integrity, connection to the angelic realm. I love the colors already coming out. Life purpose. Two of cups or coming together. Spread your wings um, or the two of wands. The fates. Whatever you're going through is a fated event. Okay, something that was always meant to happen in the world not of the world don't you love that what a beautiful card in the world not of the world number 34 <clears throat> interesting you've got the king of swords with the page of swords and the ten of cups so this is kind of like a current energy and this is what you're aligning to so this is interesting just put these here So let me just tune in for a minute. Um, with the King of Swords and the Page of Swords, um, I feel like you are really, um, you really value your integrity, your truth, your mind, you know, having clarity, communication. You're someone who's very honest. You believe in the truth. You believe in honesty. Um, and with the Page of Swords here, this is someone who is new to the journey of really coming out of that, coming out of some lessons coming out of the fear-based consciousness and really learning to communicate our truth, seek out the truth, um, share our truth, communicate our truth. Um, the page is, you know, he's still immature. He hasn't yet, um, he hasn't yet experienced everything that the King of Swords has. However, the King of Swords is, 
what I'm really feeling is this level of integrity. This is the King of Swords is who you really are. You know, it's who your soul, your soul is integrity. Your soul is honesty. The King of Swords represents someone who has simply ma mastered his mind, his energy in the physical world. And you may have reached a point where you have or in the process of mastering your mind, you know, really, really learning how to walk your path, your authentic path with yourself in the world. Um, with Iceberg Submerged and the Wolf Instinct card here, I feel like there's been a lot that you've been through and you've really um, had a lot of lessons around illusion, around the mental world where, um, you may be an air sign even, I'm not sure, but something about going through, you know, your spiritual transformation and things coming up in the shadow realm, in the darkness. Um, but it's also been a time where you've learned how to really tune in to your instincts because of everything you've been through. You've been able to like really know what your instincts are telling you. You can tune into your body, your senses, your gut, and you know what it's telling you. You can trust it. It's like it's like you've been put through some some challenges, some lessons, and they weren't easy. But because you were able to face them, because you were able to stand in your integrity, stand in the truth of who you are, you were able to deepen your natural innate abilities as well as embrace your shadows, your dark side, your, but everything in the shadows, which there's so much positive in there, right? The instinct is in the, sh is in the subconscious. It's in the, the, um, you know, the shadows are simply sub they're just in the unconscious. They're in the unconscious parts of ourselves that are operating behind the scenes. So I feel like you've really connected to spirit, your higher self. Look, the ego is also about integrity. So you've really learned what integrity is and you've always been someone who stands in your integrity, but I feel like there was a lot you didn't know and a lot that you still had yet to discover and master. And so it's like you're embracing all these parts of yourself and you're realizing that, you know, you are this person, you are the king of swords and you're mastering your mind and it's really beautiful because with the 10 of cups here, it's like you're moving towards because you've chosen and it's like, Oh my goodness, with life purpose here and artistic expression. Um, because you've chosen to just embrace all of you completely, your human self, your authentic self, your infinite self, you know, you're in the world, but not of it, right? You know, you're this infinite being in a human body. You know, your life purpose here is to, be unconditional love and express that however it's meant to come out. However love inspires you to create and express, that's what you know you're supposed to do. And whatever it is that you've gone through that's helped, allows you to truly tune into, you know, your artistic expression lies in the darkness as well, right? So it's like you've been able to go in there and if, the more you embrace and truly embrace your authentic self, knowing that you're in the world but not of it, you're able to truly express from your authentic soul expression. You're able to tune into your gifts, your psychic gifts, all of those beautiful qualities of your, of your soul. And that is serving your purpose. And it was all meant to be fates. And now that you have truly embodied that and you're standing in your power, you're turning your fate into destiny. Okay. You're, you're able to, you're turning that all of that energy that could have you could have kept feeding fear, but instead you're choosing to feed the love. And so you're turning your fate into destiny. There are certain events in our lives that were always meant to be, that were always fated for us to give us like an opportunity to level up our consciousness, to grow. And it doesn't mean that we have to do it. It doesn't mean it's going to happen because we have free will. Fated events happen all the time. You know, it's like when we're ready to wake up, when that faded event comes, are we going to 
seize it and you know take ourselves become our next best version really discover deeper parts of ourselves say yes or are we going to say no and go a different direction it's like the more tuned in you are to what fills your cup your emotional fulfillment your desires your that unconditional love that is fueled by your soul by spirit the two of wands here spread your wings the spiritual path of really moving forward and with the two of cups i feel like there's this energy of you may also be fated to meet someone right now someone's coming into your life yeah with the ten of cups here and then two of cups two of wands and the fates it's like everything's coming together and you're moving forward <laughs> you're moving forward with someone in a very equal balanced way and it's it's going to result in that Ten of Cups because you're choosing to stand in your integrity the way that you are. Um, so let me see what the 34, what the in the world, not of the world says. If there's anything else I need to add to that. So it's about... <laughs> It's about truly embracing yourself for who you are as an infinite soul. And it talks about how we outgrow, how it's important to outgrow our defenses. Um, it's this point in our life where we don't, we don't, we feel like we don't want to be defensive anymore. And we are embracing this vulnerability within us. We're ready to be vulnerable. We're ready to be more exposed. We're ready to be who we really are in this world. Um, it's like, we're, it's like you're, I feel like you're just embracing yourself, who you really are, your true authentic self, who you've known all along, but it's like you're truly embracing it completely. And choosing not to live how, how you were conditioned to be, but instead choosing to live by the way that you've always known is right for you. It's like you're just going for it. And I think it's beautiful. Um, trust yourself trust yourself right now and whatever it is that you're going through because you're definitely being guided in a very powerful way and the fates here um is a 17 but it's also a number eight which is strength so definitely tap into your strength and your heart your courage like your heart space is so strong it can it can truly remind you exactly of who you are and how powerful you actually are. Um, yeah. Wow. So this is all about really surrendering to change and understanding that there's things that we cannot control, like having the courage to let go of things that we can't change. Um, choosing to embrace the wisdom from situations and, even people, you know, people, situations or whatever. It's like about accepting things and people for who they are, including ourselves and let going, let, letting go of how things should be and instead embracing what they, how they really are. You're really this beautiful, integral, spiritual person who is very in tune with their instincts, their creative gifts, your artistic expression, which is spirit really wants you to express artistically because your art is healing it's very healing to the collective to humanity to yourself to anyone that comes into contact with whatever it is that you you create and i really feel like with the two like there's some sort of event but through it you're like being blessed with a beautiful relationship a partnership love this path of following your soul, like spread your wings, let go, let your soul guide you. It's just going to feel amazing. Like you, you're going to just feel like you're on purpose with everything. So definitely keep trusting yourself, love yourself unconditionally, understand that this is your journey. And as long as you choose unconditional love, 
and that's what you're expressing that's what you're giving out that's what's coming back to you this ten of cups is on its way like it's already done and manifested um so have faith trust yourself and follow your heart your destiny trust your instincts because they're really guiding you strong right now you're really tapped into them so keep doing it go for it go your own way <laughs> you're the king of swords okay you're always you you see beyond the illusions there's no one that can fool you not anymore okay so that is your message i truly hope that it resonated and brought you some some affirmation some guidance some just encouragement and inspiration to keep moving forward and trust yourself and remember what an amazing infinite being that you are and i thank you so so much for walking this path with me i'm so grateful for you for your strength and your beauty and thank you for subscribing for liking commenting sharing thank you for following me on social media <laughs> if you're interested in a personal reading i would be absolutely honored um, or connecting with me over on patreon i've got um, recorded audio messages daily for my patreons just a dollar a month um, and I'm loving it. I'm loving tuning in for those that are meant to receive messages from me. And it supports me as well in um, finding more balance and time to create content for you guys, which I'm absolutely loving and feel so blessed to do. So I love you guys. And I thank you, thank you, thank you for your strength. And I'm sending you all my infinite love as always. I will see you very soon for the next pick a card. Peace out, you guys.